just really intelligent design in terms of songwriting. What's up friends? Today we're checking out Giri Giri by Masayuki Suzuki featuring Sue. Masayuki Suzuki is of course the king of Japanese love songs. He has this great baritone crooner vocal, much like a Tom Jones. Sue is a Japanese singer from the group Sirens. And together they made Giri Giri for Kaguya-sama, Love is War, Ultra Romantic Edition, which this is the uh, third season opening. So we're just looking at this shortened version opening from the perspective of a producer and songwriter. So expect a lot of pauses to kind of go over the individual elements that are going on. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. I love that beginning. Just the nice little rhythm, the doom, 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 this rad riff, and then the trumpets come in, and then the, yeah. It's just so much this like crooner, big band style that's just so iconic as a way to start a song out. It's so groovy. It's just a great way to kind of get you in the mood. <laughs> So one thing you'll notice about this part right here is that there's a really nice like distribution of elements. So the harmonies aren't joining in every single moment. They come in at specific moments to enhance specific words. Also, I love the horn work on this song. There's just really great distribution of, you know, that high end. It's really pretty sounding. <laughs> One thing that's genius right there is that they have that riff come before the primary hook of the chorus. The I know, I will, I will, do, 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 do. So you've introduced this riff as being like a key hook, a key part of the song at the very beginning, and then you bring it back as something that indicates the main chorus. So it's just really intelligent design in terms of songwriting. Also, I love how the lyrics of these songs fit with the theme of the show with this specific part being the your love, your love, your love, confess it to me, which is of course like the central theme of the show is to try to get the other person to confess their love. Also just the overall tone of the song fits really well with what they're going for in the series. They're making this romance seem like this really fun, engaging thing instead of this slow, moody idea. I think they're capturing a part of romance that's not really always captured in the show. And all of the music from this show, especially these openings, do a great job of conveying that same mix of emotions, that hilarity with romance. It's great balance. Please subscribe, pretty please, with cherries on top. Please. <laughs> I love that transition. There's lots of just great things going on. One, you have the background vocals with the foreground vocals coming in. You kind of give each element its part, you know? You have the background vocals doing their thing. The foreground vocal comes in doing its thing. And then the trumpets come in to provide this really nice hook. The ding, ding, bang, bang, ding. It's a nice little descent that kind of brings the energy back, you know? You're descending in pitch just as you're descending in energy toward this next verse. I think ending of choruses are just such important parts of songs and finding ways to like use different elements to do that is so intelligent. I try to do that a lot on my latest album that'll be coming out on September 22nd. I've got some songs from that that I will uh, link to at the end of this video. They've introduced new elements and kind of drawn back other elements, you know, here the primary instrument that you're hearing are these really nice synth keyboards. It's like electric piano. The trumpets are still coming in, but they're coming in sparingly. They're just there to heighten certain moments. And the guitar is really just providing rhythm. The violins introduce a new melody right as they come in. We get this new section that we haven't seen before, this new idea, this new approach that's very rhythmic, which is interesting because the violins and orchestral instruments are typically not incredibly rhythmic instruments. And so hearing them introduce a rhythmic portion is just such a unique contrast. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, that's so groovy. That's such a fun, unique way to reintroduce this part. It's just, it's so good. It's, ah, oh, it gets me, gets me. This is just such a good song. <laughs> You'll also notice that harmonies are coming in on these choral portions, on these bigger portions. Just a great technique in general to have harmonies only come in on the chorus, to have extra vocals enhance other vocals. Another technique that I used a lot on my latest album. You can listen to my latest song, Grey Blue Eyes. It's a great example of it. Yeah, great way to end it too with these nice horn blasts at the end. So you'll notice again, they introduce the riff that then introduces the primary hook of the song. Great, right? I mean, what else do you want from a, an anime opening but this type of fun, Tom Jones-esque, more Suzuki-esque in its flair and its crooner qualities? Yeah, it just makes me want to do music like this. It's so catchy and it's so fun. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, Leave a like, comment, share. Also, check out my latest music. I've got tons of new songs coming out really soon, and I'm really excited about them. My name's Kevin Bisset, and you can find other anime reactions right here, and my music right here. And that's it. Catch on the flip. I hate my reflection, it's always backwards. It won't